What up you bearded booze and bungholes? That's right, I'm talking to you, you IPA, Coors Light, Blue Moon, Pacifico, Jack Daniels, John Jameson drinking kind of guy. That's right, I'm talking to you. My name is Scott Barnes and in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on the short beardsman's neckline. As we're growing out our beards for the month of November, you should be already growing, our neckline needs to go down as we grow down our beard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop in the shower, we're gonna get all cleaned up, and then I'm gonna show you the new lines that we need to create as our beard gets longer. So let's hop in the shower and we'll get right to it. Here we go. All right, that wasn't too bad. Now I wanna go over a couple reasons why we need to extend our neck beard as our beard gets longer. Uh, the first reason is that as our beard gets longer, we need to follow it up with the neck. This actually helps out bring the thickness and density in our beards, giving it texture and uh, giving it more of a filler. So as our beard grows, we wanna follow it with the neck. The second reason is that my beard right now, I'm getting into the second month of beard growth, is that my beard is actually leaving my skin. And when I say that, usually your hair will kind of uh, stay attached to your skin until there's too much weight to it, and then it'll start following, following, and then it'll start laying straight. So as our beard hair starts coming down, we need to follow it up with the neck, if that was a good example and demonstration. So we, we, we need to find a mark where we wanna start the new line. Now I like to reference it off where the lowest point of my beard is laying. So right now, see how this part is the longest part of my beard? That's where the new neckline is gonna start. So right now the neckline is right here. The new neckline is going to be down here. So as we look down, that's where the neckline will start. Because that's what we have to remember when we look up, it's different as we uh, keep our neck straight and have a natural lay, same as with this. So before, my neckline was up here with the hangman's noose, and now we're gonna start going lower. Now it's gonna be right here. And this is gonna have and make the appearance that your beard is fuller and thicker, which it will be. Now enough talking, let's start shaving. Now the first thing I'm going to be using is Artius Man's Shaving Cream. I prefer this over the bowl, the mix, uh, or even the Gillette. It's very smooth, it moisturizes the skin. So I'll put down the promo code and the link down in there so you guys can have easy access to the shaving cream. And I'm also gonna be using a straight razor for a nice precise line. So my, my skin is already hydrated from the shower, so I'm just gonna start and, and start to apply uh, the shaving cream. And it smells great too. It's got that eucalyptus mint smell. All right, I think we're ready to start shaving the neck. All right, so find out where the lowest point of your beard is. Same thing on the side, and we're just gonna ride the new line. Now, if you guys get scared and need a little bit of a stencil to help you out to remember where the line is, you're more than welcome to use the cut buddy. You can go ahead and place it right here on the neck and then we can go ahead and use that as a stencil itself. So this is also a nice and easy tool to create a line. But I'm gonna go actual freehand today. We're gonna pull out the razor, like I said earlier, and then what I wanna do is I wanna find the line, and we'll actually start here in the center part of the beard, and then we'll create that line, and then we'll slow, slowly work down. So without further ado, we're gonna find that magical line. So right about there, So give yourself a stopping point, go ahead and look down, make sure you don't see any new line that you created, and it looks like we're still good to go. We gave ourselves about an inch, if, if you can see right here, we'll wash it up and get a, get a better view, but we'll just continue on this side.
And to finish everything off, I like to ride just a little high, right by the earlobe. <clears throat> because as we go through the awkward stage, we're kind of looking fat with the beard because we don't have any length coming off or too much off the chin. So I want to really ride as high as I can uh, right here by the jawline so I don't have too much of a round chin area. It's going to be more of an elongated. So, but right there, we're going to stop. And since we still have the shaving cream still left over, you get a really good reference as I pull it down too of how much neck beard we added. So this is, this part right here is gonna start to grow. And like I said, as we look down, that spot is gonna add filler, hence making your beard thicker. But the main thing that we did today was the neck. And as I pull down my neck beard, look how much more we added. Now this is me pulling tension on my skin and obviously it's very noticeable. But as I let go and I'm in a natural state, as I look left and I look right, we've just added now a half inch to our beard. Now this is why I say time and time again, why it's so important to actually clean up and trim up our beard every once in a while. And that's because it can add length and girth to the beard. And this is a great example by adding just about a half inch to the neck beard, although we cleaned everything else up, we actually added some length to the beard because we separated the neck to the beard. We clean things up, we trim things up, and now we have a nice cohesive look to the look. And taking care of our beard in this manner is very important through the process of growing out your beard for the month of November. Keeping a clean look through the awkward stage can actually help not shave off your beard because of the awkward stage, which I will be doing on Wednesday's video this week. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are getting the latest video of the bearded journey. And I'm actually gonna go over why cleaning the beard and having a clean look can get you out of the awkward stage. Because right now, that month to two month of growth, of beard growth, you are in full awkward stage swing. My mustache is going crazy. My beard, I'm, I'm thinking I'm 30 pounds overweight because of the actual mass of roundness that's going on my beard. So uh, my hair is all messed up. You know, these are reasons why we need to keep everything clean to alleviate that awkward stage. So this is a good reference point. As we grow out the beard, we need to keep our neck game on par with the beard game. We're following the neck with the beard. As the process of growing out the beard, this will make it easier and actually make the beard, like I said earlier, look fuller and thicker. So that being said, please maintain and keep that beard on point. I'm gonna finish it off with using some Artius Man Beard Balm. I'm gonna put that in, make my beard look nice and sexy for the day. So like always, you guys, like and subscribe. Check me out on all that social media. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Love you guys like always, and I'll see you on the flip side. See ya!